Hello, Nate. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you very much for having me. I'm doing well. Thank you. Great. So let's just get started. If you can tell us a little bit about uh, uh, the Twisted Landscape a collection that you're actually launching on NFT Stars. So what context were you working uh, when creating this body of art and what significance does it actually have for you? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's actually a long term ongoing uh, project of mine, the, the Twisted Landscapes. It's something that started um, I can't even remember how many years ago now, but uh, I've been doing it for quite a while. It was the subject of uh, my first solo exhibition that I ever held as well. Um, so, yeah, they're just something that I uh, that I found myself creating, coming from a photography uh, background uh, and as a hobby for, for starters, but then it sort of flowed into a more professional capacity. I used to um, just take a lot of landscape photography and then started toying around with them as far as um, manipulating them in, in apps and in Photoshop, these are landscape photos of mine. And I, I found this, this kind of technique uh, where I was able to make, turn my uh, regular landscapes into something that are a little different, uh, something a little bit more surreal and abstract. Uh, and it's something that I really enjoy creating, sort of creating something that's an alternate reality if you like and then uh, as far as this um particular piece that i'm dropping on nft stars uh goes it's uh, a, an original photo that was taken uh, at a place that's quite special to me and my family uh, which is bells beach in victoria in australia and um i take a lot of photos there it's a bit of a spiritual place for for me and my family and uh yeah as per usual i just uh started messing around with with the images and found this particular piece. And uh, yeah, uh, it's just something that I, I, I love to create and share. And um, yeah, I think that's kind of the extent of this particular piece is, uh, yeah, a piece that's fairly close to my heart and uh, yeah. Well, that's very authenticated. So the work that is actually being put up for auction, uh, which is titled The Change of Scenery, is also yep. twisted a uh, photo of Bells Beach in Victoria, Australia, I believe. Uh, yes. do, do all the places uh, featured in the collection have special meaning and significance to you? And how do you select these uh, photos that would be twisted? Yeah, um, maybe not all to that same extent, um, but when I create these twisted landscapes, they are usually from photos that I've taken, whether I've been traveling uh, or just visiting family and friends or just going out for the sake of, you know, taking landscape photography. So there's usually some significance, but I would say with change of scenery and the, the shots that I take at Bells, they take on an extra meaning uh, mm -hmm. for me. So that's where I would, I would say that stands. But um, yeah, I, I still, with each of the pieces, I still have a connection uh, in some way, shape or form to, to the landscapes that I shoot. Well, that's amazing. And what state do you uh, want the viewer to experience while looking at the change of scenery art collection? Yeah, cool. I um, With, with these uh, Twisted Landscape pieces, I, I like the idea of, taking a, the viewer to somewhere that could be real, uh, but obviously it isn't. So it's uh, potentially an alternate reality or a, a place that uh, where the rules like gravity and, uh, you know, just general uh, what we might seem as real, you know, to us, where they are bent and broken a little uh, and changed. So I like the idea that, you know, it can transport you somewhere that is is different that is you know that takes you away from something that's normal and uh you know takes you to a place that perhaps is extraordinary the place of imagination absolutely yeah so in one of the sources you said that uh by manipulating a photo you create a new reality uh why not create it from scratch and why do you choose an already existing for example place and turn it into something else or something yeah, new? Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, that's definitely come from my background as a photographer. Mm -hmm. So that was my sort of initial skill set, if you like. Uh, so then when I started turning uh, to 
digital art and and manipulating photos that was just a that was a, a seamless kind of transition for me was to be able to experiment with something that I was already doing and then turn it into something else so rather than um, perhaps learn something like 3d or you know creating something from absolutely nothing which I do still enjoy to do uh, it was just probably something that was born more out of it was a natural progression from my my photography into these twisted landscapes and I, and I kind of like that uh, the, a photo of something uh, real or mm -hmm. a, pla a real place and a, and a snapshot of a, a moment in time can turn into something more imaginative, as you said before, or something that's really different and abstract. So I, I enjoy the process of that. It's like uh, not inventing the real, but just building on top of uh, kind of yeah. like a fantasy. Yeah, altering the reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's a great uh, concept, altering the reality. I really like that. So you, you have an easy, uh, easily record, uh, recognizable signature style. And how was it formed? What influenced you and inspired you? Yeah, um, formed really in, with the um, invention, if you like, or uh, with the uh, jumping onto Instagram uh, is basically where I can track it back to. So when I was um, when I first jumped onto Instagram, uh, it was pretty new. I was an early adopter, and through that app, uh, I managed to sort of find and follow and connect with a whole heap of graphic artists and digital artists and people doing really different things with um, what you might just have thought was a photography app. And um, so once I started digging into that, uh, I found myself really wanting to learn about how to, you know, do some of the things that I was seeing uh, these graphic artists and designers doing. So I started learning Photoshop more um, and started experimenting more with what I could do with my art. So it was born out of just um, experimenting basically with apps and with Photoshop. And uh, once I sort of found something that I thought was a little bit different, something that I hadn't seen other people doing, I, I really kind of pushed into that. And I, I love the idea of being able to create something. It's hard to create something that's brand new because uh, a, a lot of everything has been done, but um, just something that I felt like it was mine you know, something that I could offer that, was, that had my own touch that I hadn't sit, really seen anywhere else. So sort of dates back to, to there, I guess. Just add that piece of uniqueness and rare to that, which is non fungible yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> so, I like to think so. <laughs> our, our team at NFT Stars uh, platform has, uh, sees more and more photographers uh, discovering the NFT space. Uh, as, as a seasoned digital artist and photographer, what niche or what opportunities do you see uh, for photographers within the uh, NFT industry in general? Yeah, it's hard to predict what's going to happen in the NFT space. But I think um, I've got a lot of photographer friends and I am seeing lots of um, photography as collections uh, coming about. So whether it be, you know, a themed collection from a trip to Iceland or uh, I, I think that there's going to be plenty of those kind of things that, that come in. So I've been speaking with one um group of filmmakers that do IMAX movies and they're bringing their expertise into the field and having sort of short, you know, really amazingly shot, uh, sh really short films that are, that are, they're bringing to the NFT space. Um, then there's, I've got some friends that are um, live music photographers. I do a bit of that myself. And I think that that's something that could creep in. You could see sort of, uh, you know, shots of your favourite artists start being minted, stuff like mm -hmm. that. There's, I, I think there's a lot of opportunity. And I think that photography is, a, is an art form, you know, a pure art form that, that collectors will, will want to, you know, collect. So I do think that there's plenty of opportunity for it. And uh, do you think a photographer's path is any different than any uh, digital artist out there? Um, I'm not sure. Like, I, I think when I first jumped into... NFTs, which was um, towards the end of 2020, um, it was predominantly just 3D art. 
that that's was what I was mainly seeing, and sort of maybe the sort of flash art and GIF uh, GIF art as well, um, and a lot of animation. So I think that it's definitely very different. It's taken a little while for photography to come in as a pure just just photography, because um, people like myself, you know, use photography in different ways. But um, yeah, I think. Uh, I don't know if it's it's just going to take more time, but like maybe more collectors coming into the space that's that value, you know, photography as the art form that they want to collect. But yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I I believe that it's you know photography is definitely in the space to stay, but I, I I'm not sure whether it's you know going to be a hugely different path for a, a digital artist or a 3D artist or a photographer. I'm not sure. No, yes, definitely you're right, because the, the industry is still expanding. Obviously, you cannot predict. It's unpredictable for sure. Yeah, and what is, your, <laughs> what is your next big goal in the NFT market after your um, NFT uh, stars auction? Uh, at the moment, I seem to be working on a lot of uh, collaborations, which is uh, really exciting. It's something that I've always done since the early days of Instagram too, by the way, just meeting other artists and trying to put your two styles together and, all of that kind of stuff. So I have a, quite a lot of collaborations on the cards, whether it be with um, some musicians where I'll be creating some art and the musicians will be soundtracking it. Um, and then I have another really big project that I won't say too much about at the moment that it's going to drop on a major platform as well towards the very end of the year. So I've got quite a lot on the cards uh, and it's exciting. It's a really exciting time to be a digital artist and. Uh, have all of these opportunities sort of presented uh, to choose from. It's really nice. Definitely excited to also see uh, all those projects. And how uh, how have you evaluate the uh, experience with NFT Stars platform till now? That's been fantastic. So if I'm actually the the team has made it really easy. Uh, it's uh, after being approached and and agreeing to to drop something on the platform. It's it's been remarkably easy just to uh, go through the steps of uh, meeting with you guys and uh, it's exciting to see now that the uh, advertising for the drop has come about it's it's been a, a really good experience. Well glad that you have been enjoying this experience so far and looking forward to your auction and the future endeavors and thanks so much and good luck. Thank you very much thanks for having me again and I really uh, I'm looking forward to it too I can't wait to see how it all goes. Thank you. Thank you so much. And all the best. Oh, looking forward to uh, follow the, the auction on the platform. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Have a great night.